Oh, they have real Good evening. Welcome to St. Augustine's. Our opening hymn is number 144 in your missalettes, Glory in the Cross, number 144. Please stand and join in singing. Let us ever glory in the cross of Christ, our salvation and our hope. Let us bow in homage to the Lord of life, who was broken to make us whole. There is no greater love as blessed as this, to lay down one's life for a friend. Let us ever glory in the cross of Christ and the triumph of God's great love. Let us make our journey to the cross of Christ who surrendered glory and grace to become a servant of the great and small that all people may know God's face. Though his birth was divine, he knelt as a slave to wash common dust from our feet. Let us ever glory in the cross of Christ and the triumph of God's great love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, it gives me great pleasure to celebrate this liturgy with you today. We have been in Holy Week since Palm Sunday, and with this liturgy we enter into the sacred Triduum, the Holy Three Days, commemorating the events around the passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are giving thanks, especially tonight, for uh, three things that the Lord gave us during the Last Supper. He gave us the sacrament of the Eucharist, he gave us the sacrament of priesthood, and he gave us a wonderful example of service when he washed the feet of the, of the disciples. And uh, so this is, this is a very, very special Mass. Uh, and it's going to take a little bit longer than it usually does, but I'm sure you're all okay with that. And so let's, let's as we enter into this sacred time of worship, let's pause briefly, call to mind any way in which we may have offended God or the people around us, and let us ask the Lord for pardon and for peace. Lord Jesus, you are servant of God, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the suffering servant. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are servant of the servants of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. 
We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, glory to God in the highest and on peer peace to people of good will lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us you take away the sin of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen, amen. Glory to God the highest, and on earth peace to people of good A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household and procure one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You might take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. It shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts of the lintel of every house 
in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is, this is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat it like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of, Is of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. See in the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I struck the land of Egypt, no destructive blow shall come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all of your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of the Lord. How can I make a return to the Lord for all God has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up. I will call on the name of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of the Lord. Precious indeed in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Then I am your servant, your chosen one, for you have set me free. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of the Lord. Unto your name I will offer my thanks for the debt that I owe to you. In the presence of all who have called on your name in the courts of the house of the Lord, our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup, after supper, saying, this cup is a new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. 
Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during the supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. He, for he knew who would betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. So, sisters and brothers, for the last 40 days, we've been journeying together through Lent. It's often difficult, but a satisfying journey because it's a time of deep soul-searching reflection, a time of repentance and hopefully reform, being guided by the disciplines of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. What this means is that together, we have diligently opened or reopened or kept open with renewed vigilance our hearts. And now in our hunger for God, we reaffirm our desire to follow in his footsteps, continuing by his grace our journey into the light, the light of Christ our Savior, which we celebrate on Saturday. Today, as Father mentioned at the beginning, we begin our sacred triduum. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil. It's a three-day prayerful preparation for the great feast of Easter. Today's Mass of the Last Supper is a commemoration of two important mysteries. As Father mentioned, the institution of the Holy Eucharist and the priestly order, as well as the commandment of the Lord concerning love and service. In our first reading from Exodus, it brought us back to the law of Passover, describing how the Israelites are to, to be saved from the 10th plague and in so doing are saved from slavery in Egypt and led to freedom in the promised land. By design, there are wonderful parallels between this story and the letter of St. Paul and the gospel. The Israelites were told to purchase a spotless lamb on the 10th day of the first month, given it primacy and to slaughter it on the 14th day, four days later. 
They were to spread the blood on the doorposts and lintel as a sign of the Lord to pass over them that night and were to eat of the lamb. Blood was a sign of life, and this is why it was used. Similarly, the spotless lamb, Christ, entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, given primacy to the liturgical event on the calendar, and four days later, which was Holy Thursday, he began his passion and crucifixion. The Passover sacrifice described in Exodus prefigures the once for all sacrifice of Christ, who delivers us from slavery to sin to the freedom of eternal life. It conjures up an image of the first Eucharistic celebration we heard in the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, a Passover meal using the symbology of broken bread and outpoured wine to recall and make present Jesus Christ. It ties past, present, and future into one, so that at every celebration we remember the saving acts of God. You and I, in that celebration with all children of God, past, present, and future. And in a few minutes, as we begin our Eucharistic service, the celebration, we will hear the following words in the prayer over the offering. Whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. And then in the preface, which is that prayer that starts with the Lord be with you and with your spirit, lift up our hearts. Christ was the first to offer himself as the saving victim. Those are the words that we'll hear in the preface. As you and I join in celebration of the Eucharist, we join our offering with Christ's total giving. Our celebrant calls down the Holy Spirit who transforms the bread and wine into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. And this is done at each Eucharistic celebration, whether it's a daily Mass or weekend Mass, at each celebration we have this Eucharistic prayer. So just as Jesus, the high priest, did at the Last Supper, as we heard tonight, it is for this reason we also commemorate the ministerial priesthood, those who are ordained by God to be his ministerial leaders, acting as Jesus did, acting in persona Christi at times, in the person of Christ, drawing all people to God by following Christ's example. This then <clears throat> brings us to the gospel message. Jesus giving us the command of love and service. He says, I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you shall also do. Notice that the focus is not on the institution of the Lord's Supper, but instead is on the Lord's commandment concerning love and service, or charity as we often hear it. Jesus, as he always does, chooses a shockingly unusual way to make his point. He demonstrates how. Washing the feet of a guest was a practice of uh, hospitality. It was done by the lowest person, Here's Jesus, the Son of God, humbly washing the disciples' feet, washing our feet in a practice of hosp hospitality. This is why it's so shocking for Peter, who in his humanness at first forbade Jesus from washing his feet. How could he know what Jesus was really trying to say to him? If it were you or I, would we have gotten it? Some rich symbolism helps demystify things, and this is helpful for us. Firstly, Jesus laying aside his outer garment is symbolic of laying down his life. This statement uses the same verb as used in describing the good shepherd laying down his life for the sheep. Secondly, by Jesus assuming the role of a slave, the full depth of sharing his life and mission is communicated in a simple and humble way. Jesus is about to give his whole self, his life, for those he loves. And the message is that you and I should do likewise. It doesn't mean we have to die for our sins, for our brothers and sisters, rather, but it does mean that we are to become selfless or do our best to try to freely love and serve others. This is why Jesus says, I have given you a model to follow. His model is one of self-forgetting, humble service, and radical hospitality. So it's not a matter of us literally washing one another's feet. There's something greater here. 
It's a message much like a parable of fulfilling the Lord's commandment concerning love and service. You and I are made in the image and likeness of God. So if we wish to resemble him, we must follow his example and imitate the love of Christ. Sisters and brothers, let us ponder not only the words of scripture, but of the entire mass, which is our thanksgiving for the saving acts of God. This is your celebration, your journey through the sacred triduum. Let us follow the model Jesus so lovingly gave us and journey into the light, the light of Christ our Savior. Oh yeah, washing of the feet. Ubi caritas et amor Deus iest. Ubi caritas et amor Deus iest. Ubi caritas et amor Deus iest. Ubi caritas et amor Deus we gather together in the love of Christ. So love one another. Amen. Rejoice. Our God is alive. The God of love is near. So love one another with a heart sincere. Ubi caritas et amor 
Deus e biest, ubi caritas er amor, Deus e biest, ubi caritas et amor, Deus e biest, ubi caritas et amor, Deus e biest. We the many become one body as the Spirit binds, and we seek to be one in Christ and one in heart and mind. Let all quarrels, all divisions, all our conflicts cease. Then will Christ truly dwell among us as our Lord of peace. Ubi caritas et amor Deus e biest. Ubi caritas et amor Deus e biest. Ubi caritas et amor Deus Biest, ubi caritas et amor Deus i biest. Then joined with the blessed, filled with hope and grace, so love one another, may we see your face. Our joy none can measure, joy that knows no end, resounding from endless age to age. Amen. Ubi caritas et amor Deus i biest. Ubi caritas et amor Deus i Biest, ubi caritas et amor de usi biest, ubi caritas et amor de usi biest. The example of Jesus shows us how to serve others in our deeds and in our prayers. That priests be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to serve God's people in holiness, love, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations throughout the earth renew their commitment to peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who participate in these sacred mysteries will embrace the new commandment and always strive to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who seek the Easter sacraments during this, these holiest of days embrace the cost of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are nourished at this Eucharistic feast remember the hungry and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve our nation and our communities, those who place themselves in harm's way for us, to guard our freedom, to provide us safety, or to preserve our law, and for those serving far from home and loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pray for all the sick and suffering, especially Father Kelly, and for those troubled in body, mind, or heart, and for their caregivers in a special way, and for all our loved ones who have died. And we pray for the intentions of each one here. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Creator God, 
source of the bread and wine we offer, hear and grant the prayers we bring to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. During the preparation of the gifts, please join in singing song number 309 here at this table, number 309. be filled here at this table, food for all who hunger, and drink for all who thirst, drink Bobby of his love, wine. wine of salvation, you shall live forever. In Jesus Christ the Lord. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness come we have received Come and be filled here <coughs> at this table. Come for us, Food for life. all who hunger and drink for all who thirst. Drink of his love, wine of salvation you shall live forever in jesus christ the lord Blessed are you lord god of all creation for three you who labor Wine for justice you who labor hands. for peace you who steady the plow yes, in the field of the Lord. Come and be filled here at this table, food for all who hunger, and drink for all who thirst. Drink of his love, wine of salvation, you shall live forever in Jesus Christ, Christ the Lord. You shall live forever in Jesus Christ, Christ the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us pray that this, our sacrifice, be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our joy and the church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest 
who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, David, our pastor, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Augustine, Saint Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you. Peace to you. Peace to you. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. body of Christ. Amen. Oh, that's right. No, I'm supposed to give the, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to give you communion first. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 
Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Please join in singing song number 312, Table of Plenty, number 312. Body of Christ. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Body Come Christ. to the table of plenty. God Body will provide Christ. for all that we need here at the Body table of, of plenty. Body of Christ. Oh, come and sit at my table, Christ. where saints and sinners are friends. Body I Christ. wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Body come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Body of Christ. Oh, come and eat without money. Come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. My bread will ever sustain you through days of sorrow and woe. My wine will flow like the sea of gladness to flood the depths of your soul. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Your fields will flower in fullness. Your homes will flourish in peace. For I, the giver of home and harvest, will send my rain on your soil. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Let us pray. Here it is. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Thank you. That's it. Wonderful. Thank you.
Just wait a second. I forgot I need to cope today. I'll grab this. Angelingua gloriosi, corporis mysterium, sanguinisque prestiosi, quem in mundi prezi. Fructus ventris generosi, Rex effudit gentium. Nobis status, nobis natus, Ex intacta vergi. Et in mundo conversatus, sparso verbi semine, si ui moras in colatus, miro clausit ordinus. In supreme nocte cene, recubens cum fratribus, observata lege plene, sibis in legalibus, tibub Turbe duodene, sedat suis manibus. Verbum caro. Panem verum, verbo carnem efficit, fitque sanguis Christi merum, et si sensus efficit, ad firmandum. Or sincerum sola finde suffit.
ladies and gentlemen. Tantu mergo sac ramentum venere murcernui et anticum documentum novo cedat ritui prestet Supplementum sensum defectui genitori genitoque laus et jubilatio. Salus honor virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abutroque, comparsit laudatio. Okay, I, I think we... It's what I asked every year.
couldn't hear me. I know that's what I mean. You didn't hear it, AIDS. You do. There's no doubt about it. Nobody else tells me that. <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry, what? I can't. I have a live mic right here. <laughs> 